trying that right now. Come on. Hey everyone, what's up? It is Enzyme here with and my brother, brother and a, with a malfunctional uh, throttle and um, no, just just the joystick. Uh, well, with a m malfunctional joystick, apparently. <laughs> Jeez, uh, is it really malfunctioning that bad? Yeah, it's not even working. Oh, that's great. Well, anyway, uh, I wanted to make a quick video here today that my brother can attest to. Uh, there it's we about... go. Oh, you fixed it. Nice. Uh, it's about controls. our internet provider. Yay! What everybody wants Yay. to talk about. Um, so, uh, we use a internet provider called Cox Communications. They're a big <laughs> conglomerate. <laughs> they're that's that sure is what they are now. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, they're a big conglomerate funny. that has um, that provides internet, phone, and isn't it satellite, right, or cable or whatever? cable yeah uh anyway they've recently announced that they're going to start capping data uh at one terabyte now i know a lot of you are thinking well that's a lot of data yes except for a family of six it's not uh see we use about 1.25 i think is what dad told us right terabytes yeah yeah uh they limited it oh they limited it to one terabyte now most people are freaking out saying that, you know, oh, well, who cares? You know, we don't use a terabyte. Well, yeah. Dude, the elevator not, for my do. plane sucks. It's not even working right now. Really? Yeah. Where even are you? I don't see you. I just crashed because... Your elevator's, elevator's not working. working. Ah. Hold on, let me see if it works for this plane. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. It's... Wait, so are these... Quite minor... Technical difficulties. This, this oh, one works perfectly fine. There are 50 cows okay. on here. Hmm. Anyway, so is this a bombing raid one? Uh, okay. yes. We have to. You have to bomb the um, the front line right there. Um, anyway, I have a dive bomber. you have a dive bomber. Not. Uh, I'm not flying it right now, but yeah, I have a bomber fighter. You're using one right now, Preston. Oh wait, no, you're not. not yeah, you are. Not you're a, using a it's bomber. Not a dive bomber. It's oh, a it's dive a bomber, bomber though. though. Oh. Dive well, bomber. Anyway, um, most people, you know, wouldn't really, you know, care about an internet provider doing that, except there's one slight issue. They are a monopoly, essentially. Um, the next best one, uh, apparently is CenturyLink, and they operate at 120th, right? 120th of the 120th, speed? yeah. Yep. They operate at 120th of the speed of Cox. Uh, Cox operates at... <laughs> Uh, high speed, uh, <laughs> which, you know, is, is like, it works amazingly. However, now they're going to start capping the data, meaning you can go through data unbelievably fast. So, uh, uh, the big problem here is the fact that they um, are the monopoly that they are. They basically just, you know... They're like, oh, well, we can do it because we're the only people who offer high-speed internet. Like, yeah, but guess what that makes you? A monopoly. Hate to break it to you, but that's what and you monopolies are. Monopolies are illegal in the U.S. Yes, and uh, there's actually a law that can be put, that can be used to file uh, problems against uh, the... Oh, come on, Gunner, do something. Well, Thank you. Technically, it's not a monopoly because they do have... Well, yeah, issues. technically it's not a monopoly, but they're the only people that offer high-speed internet. Therefore, yes, it is sort of a monopoly. Oh, uh, crap, I'm getting screwed up over here. I'm almost to a bomb spot. Hold on. I'm going to try to get the southern one. Why is it that dive bombers are always really fast? No, stop barking. Oh, gosh dang it. Anyway, um, so yeah, people are not very happy with Cox right now. And, In fact, um, if you check their Twitter page, uh, they got some quite strong words. Ah, oh, crap! I got. Sh yeah, I what? even I even tweeted at them uh, this There's morning. Some very strong words in their comments. No, I didn't. I didn't tweet the strong words, of course. But like, <laughs> almost anybody who has social media has been roasting the crap out of them, telling them that you know they're probably the worst internet provider now because of that. And um, I've commented on several posts of theirs on Facebook, on my personal Facebook, and tweeted at them on my public Twitter that um, 
you know, they're pieces of human refuse who need to get their stories, who need to get their stuff straight. Otherwise, people are going to start, you know, leaving cocks, which is what people have started doing already. Because, you know, they don't want to deal with what's pretty much a, a monopoly here on the west side Aaron, of the uh, on the west Aaron, side of the United States. I forgot how to deploy landing gear. Can you uh, just quickly tell me how to do that again? I think it's left on that little trigger stick or whatever on the um, thing. I found a way to actually like. There's like this thing that you can do. There's like a combination of buttons that you can press. It makes it to where you can do all the actions and stuff. Oh, wrong one. That was a bomb. Good job. Thank you. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know to absolutely destroy them on social media. Tell them that they're the pieces of crap that they are. Um, because at this point on social media, nice, uh, they've been, uh, they, before, uh, tonight, they have been pretty much ignoring, uh, they've been, uh, deleting all comments having to do with, um, the new, um, oh gosh, I can't think right now. The new cap? Uh, with the new, um... Oh gosh, why can't I think of the name? Yes, that. They've been deleting any comments relating to that, and now they're just straight up ignoring them and responding to customers who are actually having like problems or whatever. Which is completely stupid because everybody who does have the problem with... Uh... Oh, I destroyed an aircraft. Nice, I got a kill assist. Oh, it was Italian too. It was an Italian. Spaghetti yeah, bike. the C202. But yeah, um, if you guys have social media um, or whatever, feel free to call 1, them, call them, uh, email them, uh, like, you know, tell your friends, tell your family, tell anybody you can to boycott Cox. I'm going to start a hashtag boycott Cox on Facebook Please and don't. on Twitter. I'm going to. Please don't. No, I'm don't. going to. Please don't. I'm going to do it. Because it's ridiculous. Don't. They're a monopoly, and they need to recognize that. And somebody needs to put an antitrust... Uh, needs to sue them for antitrust. Three Which for... guys were just on my tail. Really? One in, like, this really stupid water plane. I'm assuming that was the A6M2. Pretty much, yep. That was it. That was what it was. I did deal quite a lot of damage, though. And I don't have any more bombers. Oh, great. I'm on fire. Yay. Hey, I hey the base got destroyed. Want to know the best way to do that? Dive into the water. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and educate y'all on uh, the antitrust law. It's a collection of federal and state government laws that regulate the conduct of organization and, and the conduct and organization of business corporations that are to promote fair competition. Fair competition being there for the benefit of cust consumers or customers. The concept is called competition law in other English speaking Stupid countries. Dogs. Uh, Sherman Act, yeah. Clinton Act, Federal Trade Commission Act. Uh, da, 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 cartels and prohibit, prohibit other, other inclusive practices regarding as being in restraint of trade. Secondly, restrict the mergers and acquisitions of reality, blah, blah, blah. Uh, never mind. Uh, monopolization. Here we go. Uh, Railroad monopoly. So, yeah, um, you guys can go ahead and look through this uh, Wikipedia article and its sources and all that stuff at the bottom. If you don't believe me, there's sources up here, there's sources down here, there's sources everywhere. Um, but I honestly think, I'm honestly uh, thinking that we could easily um, put an antitrust or whatever in place. You sound like that one guy that's, that one like stupid person that's like, uh, hashtag get old men off of YouTube. Who's that? Who said that? This is just one guy that was talking about how a YouTuber named Birdman was like ageist, racist. Oh, jeez. 
anti-gay and stuff. Well, which too he bad. Is. Well, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't care who you are, what you do, you know, where you put it. Like, just don't get me involved in it. We win. Sweet. But yeah, um, we've already been we've been paying, I think it was a hundred twenty dollars a month for one terabyte of data. We've been paying double. for like for limitless data, and now that'll get us just one terabyte because of the cap. And I'll charge you extra if you reach that cap. And apparently, they've been experimenting with this in one of the least populated states in the United States, Ohio. And no, I'm not kidding. Like, really? You're going to have Ohio represent the entirety of the United States? Um, I don't think so. It's ridiculous. This. Anyway, um, if you want to, well, I mean, you probably should because, you know, there are pieces of absolute human refuse that need to get off the drugs and into a business school and realize, oh, hey, we're going to lose customers because of this. Because They need to stop smoking the sticky icky. <laughs> I told you that, okay? Okay, Mo, stop it. Ugh. He just keeps knocking my controller off but of yeah. the um, chair. Go absolutely destroy them on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Go ahead and email them, call them, tell them the pieces of human refuse that they are. Please stop. And, um, you know, I'll see y'all later. Bye.